What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you all my review of Beast of No Nation. So, Beast of No Nation is a Netflix original feature film that is directed by Kerry Fukunaga, and also the screenplay is written by him. He is known for doing season one of True Detective, which is absolute, absolutely phenomenal, and I recommend that you check it out if you haven't seen it yet. The story is actually based on a novel by Odinma Iwelia, and I haven't read the original novel, but... Um, uh, this entire story actually reminds me of another book, which is an autobiography uh, by a person who was a child soldier, and the name of that book is A Long Way Gone, and it's by Ishmael Bea. But that's besides the point, I'll get to that later. But this story centers around a boy named Agu, who is in an unnamed African country that is uh, torn apart by civil war, and he loses his family and is separated for a lot from a lot of them uh, because of this war when it hits his town. And we watch his journey into becoming a child soldier. And this is a very rough and visceral film. And I think a lot of that not only has to do with the story, but has to do with Kerry Fukunaga's directing. He is a very, very visceral director. I think that's the best way to describe his style. He has this this beautiful magic about his camera work and his choice of angles and his handheld uh, tracking shots to where he's able to capture such a natural perspective of all the actors involved. I think this is very prominent in the beginning of the film in which you get to see Agu's life before war hits his town and he just chooses some excellent framework and he chooses just very excellent angles and things of that nature that really speak to who the characters are and to the world but in a unique way. And when it gets to the darker parts of the story, he does an even amazing job. A lot of his directing reminds me of the film uh, Children of Men in the way you have these uh, these tracking shots and these intense sequences and going from corridor to corridor and he just carried Fukunaga knocks it out of the park. He proves that he's not just someone that's, that's going to stay on TV. You give him the budget, you give him the know-how and he can deliver on a feature film. The, and that, there is a problem I do have with his directing, but we'll get to that later. So let's focus on the actors. I think everyone in the cast does phenomenal, specifically uh, the boy who plays is Agu. The child's name is Abraham Atta, and boy, does he just, his performance is something just so gripping, so, so gripping. You really care for him when the story, start, when the story starts and you care for the family and all the dynamics that he has, but when it comes to delivering these deep, dark, emotional parts of the film, he does not let up, and he is one of the best child actors I have ever seen in my life. Like, his performance in this is just miles beyond some of the things I've even seen adults wish they could be capable of. The amount of dimension and gravitas that he brings to his character and innocence, despite all the despicable things that he gets involved with, n not by choice, but uh, it's, it's very, very compelling. And he does a phenomenal job. Idris Elba gives a terrific performance as usual, but he does something that's very sinister and very dark with his performance as the leader of this group of this child soldiers, as a, as a military leader he is able to uh, just convince you and make you believe in him and make you believe that uh, in what he's doing is right and he's giving you an opportunity to change uh, the way you're living and to fight back he he gives you a, such a strong performance that that makes you believe in that but once you find out the type of person he actually is and how broken he actually is and what a despicable man his character becomes slash already is to even use child soldiers and especially in the way he does in dark depraving ways it is very very troublesome and Aegis Elba does a phenomenal job at it besides that most of the cast doesn't really stick around for the film or they come and pass or they come and go throughout the film and besides that it it the cast does a phenomenal job in what they're supposed to do and they give very natural performances and that's the most important thing about the film but when it comes to the story this is where things get a little muddled and i think part of it has to do with the story itself and part of it has to do with the direction the story 
never lets up. The story continuously gets darker and darker throughout the entire film until about the last three minutes. Uh, things change in a bit, but not really. But this entire film is a deep, dark journey and does not let up. I guarantee you that. So if you're going into this film expecting like a, you know, an inspirational story about someone who overcomes the odds, no, it's about what happens to humanity when we're dragged into these deeper and darker uh, aspects of our world and what humanity and people and children can become in the loss of innocence. So that's what the story is really about. So be wary of that. Now, in terms of Kerry Fukunaga's directing, as I stated before, you know, he brings that intensity and that natural visceralness to the story that's necessary. But I feel at some points he gets lost in his own sense of direction. And, and it kind of reminded me of certain sequences when I thought of uh, True Detective season one, which he did. You know, you're trying to follow along in the story, but he gets, I don't know, he gets so caught up in certain minute details or certain parts of the environment to where the story doesn't progress as it should. And this movie is about two and a half hours long. Ugh. This movie is about two and a half hours long and you really feel every single minute of it. You really feel uh, every, every moment to moment that goes by. And I guess that's a good thing and that benefits the story. But at the same time, it hurts the film overall because the, the runtime really hurts and you're kind of like, okay, when is this going to be over or when are we going to progress to something else? And there's not a lot of progression. And when the progression does come, it's done in interesting ways or certain montages or certain transitions, but they come in ways that are very... Uh, it almost seems random. It almost seems out of place because there's no precedent for, well this is what should happen before this is how we're going to transition between time and space and things of that nature it all kind of blurs together and so you kind of get this muddled perception between this is based on what's happening in the story you have lost characters so we want the audience to feel lost so when you watch the film it's going to be a mixed reaction depending on who you are you might find his sense of direction or lack thereof enjoyable or or complimenting the story but at the same time it might hurt your enjoyment of the film and uh, there is some to be had, but not in a humorous and enlightening fashion. But overall, this is an excellent, excellent uh, debut film by Kerry Fukunaga. This is a great, great film for Netflix to get into their foray. We're doing something that's very powerful and just so captivating, especially in the story. And even though I read the, like I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, I mentioned this book called Long Way Gone. And I recommend that you read that book as well because it gives some mental insight into what the mind of a child soldier is like as because the author of that book went through the events that you see in this film and they almost follow hand in hand like they were based off one another. But these are just similar experiences that can happen uh, in such a terrible environment. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to give this this movie a 7.9 out of 10. And I almost went with 8, but it's just certain elements of the directing just didn't really complement with me as an audience viewer. But you might have a different opinion or you might have a different feeling watching that movie. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have something that you wanna add on about the film or you disagreed with me or something like that, hit me up in the comment sections down below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit that like button down there if you, well, liked my review. And don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Geek Nation because remember ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to 300 subscribers and we need every single one of you to make that happen. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Daniel Hargrove, and don't forget to get geeky. Come on. Come on, come on. Just filming a review. Yeah, we, we heard you. We ain't coming at first. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll put this at the end of the video. Okay. I'm I'm almost done.